man this november has been strange it has been hot and very dry i'm gonna do some bank fishing and there's a couple creeks that feed this area there is no water flow at all coming in this time of the year the fishing can be very hit or miss with um days where you catch a ton of fish the next day it changes the good thing is there's a lot of different species that move in shallow out of the lake into these creek channels the bad thing is every day it's a different species i feel like that comes in and there's you know five or six different species that will kind of come in and move around but i think i have the kit for that here we go the bait and school tackle kit from lurenet.com now this is a kit that gets uh, put out every two months but they just changed and now you can get a subscription where it gets delivered to you and i like that idea sometimes people want to subscribe to it just to have it come in subscribe um, maybe for a kid teenager another adult your wife or your husband you just sign them up for it and then they get it and you know it comes in every two months this is the november december kit this is great for just walking around the bank so let's take a look what's in there real quick and then we're going to try to fish with it like i said this has a variety of things from jigs to little crappie lures we got some bobby garland uh, baby shad swimmers we got a, a fill float i'm going to try to use that probably for crappie lures you know we got a bandit crankbait that right there is a cool looking uh i haven't seen that color crick hopper popper yum crawl poppies a rebel track down jerk bait that's a good uh trout lure also cajun crickets great more crappie or multi-species lures there's hoping to get some crappie today but also there's another lure the fish i think might hit it we have this is one of my favorite hooks now this is the the crappie pro this is a 130 seconds ounce uh sickle hook it's small enough to use the itty bits on, but it's also big enough to use just regular Bobby Garland's on. And then we got some 1 16th ounce, a little bit bigger uh, sickle hook. So we, this is a really a variety bag that you can go for a lot of different species. But my goal is to go through these lures and find the one that's gonna work for me today and catch some fish. So here we go. So I brought my bag and I got three different rods that can throw a few different lures. But we're gonna start out with a uh, real light action. One thirty second ounce and a little curly tail thing on here. Fish on, fish on. What we got? What's our first species? What is this thing? Oh, it's a huge golden shiner. Oh my goodness, it's a giant. See, that's the exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. I had no idea what species were gonna be in here. That is a big one. Now this is not a typical targeted species, but if you just like catching fish, that's a big one and they do fight hard. This is really good for catfish bait and um, probably any kind of bait really. But we're throwing it back. Yeah, I'll take that. That's cool. Man, that thing stinks. Phew. I got some guys over there across the uh, little creek that they watched the channel. They were yelling at me. That was pretty cool. But been here about, uh, I was like 10 casts and we already got a species I wasn't expecting to catch. So I was just kind of going for whatever. Something's eating. Look at that. Look at that right there. I don't know if you can see that good, but something's in there. Munching on shad. Oh, yeah, I had a hit. Oh my, look at that. Oh, that was a big fish. I don't know if that was a bass or a skipjack, something big though. I saw them wake coming out. They're in here, they're just coming in here busting shad. Oh, I thought I had one. Well, of course we get snagged. That's why we got extra hooks and lures. Well, let's just go ahead and take this opportunity to switch to a, this crankbait. The Bandit 100 radioactive color. It's pretty shallow in here. This is only, this is a shallow diving lure, but I'm a little bit worried about getting hung up on something. But also, this may be a better lure for catching any bass that are in here. Well, let's switch up and let's try a double jig rig on my little bit heavier rod here, medium, medium heavy. Put two 116th ounce on there. 
We'll go with a Hyper Grub Cajun Cricket on the top and a Baby Shad Swimmer Bluegrass for bottom. There's one. Yeah. Here we go. We got something good. What is that? I snagged it. Oh. I snagged it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Reeling it in slow. Here's my first skipjack. That's what I've been trying to get. I've been seeing them busting in here. It's another species that doesn't get targeted a lot. Unless you want catfish bait. Oh, there's a skipjack. Yanked that dude out of the water. Yeah, I moved on to another spot and got me another skipjack. Dang, he's splashing me like crazy. Get back in there. This rod's a little stiffer than I usually fish for him, so I kind of set the hook into him. But that wasn't too long. I threw the crankbait. I ain't got nothing on the crankbait, which is kind of weird. I thought maybe I'd get some fish. But the little, uh, Little Bobby Garlands, dude, they get all kinds of different stuff. Oh, oh. Oh, look at them blowing up right there. Just went right through that. Oh, there's one. There's one. Just kind of working it through there, twitching it, and like just pausing and stopping. Okay, we've definitely proven something here, though. Not that there's skipjack here. I mean, that's, obviously, we got two. But all three of my skipjack have come on this color lure, which is the top one. So we're gonna change this one out for the brighter orange color one. Yeah, there we go. That wind is blowing right down this way too. Oh yes, new species on the count. And is this a, let's see, is a white bass or yellow bass? This is a white bass, it's a little one. Man, if these things start getting down in here, these things are a blast also. And they're good to eat. So that's the one that does get targeted for food. Boom, we made the right move. I was thinking about move, driving to another spot and I looked over here and there was nobody fishing this little culvert that gets fished a lot. And so I'm like, well, let me, Stop and make some casts. Boom, we got right on some fish. Well, yeah, maybe we got time to go somewhere else before it gets dark. Let's try hitting something else. Oh, what is that? Good thing I stopped one more time. That's a good fish. All right, we got largemouth. <laughs> I could not get a large mouth at that other place. I moved uh, one mile down the road to make a few casts as the sun's setting. That's a chunky, he hammered that thing. Pretty large mouth. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Toss him out there. Might be able to get something else. These little things, it's amazing what all they catch. Just a great. Probably take it and fish with it anywhere. Go catch something on it. Yesterday I ran out of daylight and I moved to another spot today. I only still only got like an hour before daylight now. But I'm gonna try, I'm only gonna bring one rod, just try to get on a few more species. There we go, we got here. <laughs> Little large mouth. It's probably
probably what's in here is a bunch of little ones chasing some little bait. Dang. Gotta eat somewhere. Oh yeah. Little move to the other side. <laughs> Look, he's a little crappie. Little micro crappies. Micro bass, micro crappie. This little thing though, this color has definitely made the difference from yesterday and today. There we are. Oh, what is that? Warmouth. Three different species here. Kind of pale from this murky water, but we got a largemouth, crappie, black crappie, and a warm mouth. Oh, yeah, they're there. That's the spot right there. Another crappie. Let's do. They're just a small black grubby. Alright. Right off that wall again, let it drop in. Boom. There, right on that wall. Oh, it's getting a little bigger. That's a nice little one. Oh, yeah. Now that's almost, uh... Dude, that's, a, that's about a 10-inch one. It's right at keeper size there. Yeah, that was like three or four fish in a row. Hit the wall. Let it bounce. Let it sink. Oh, oh, I missed one. Let's go over there. Oh, yeah. Just had to move up the wall a little bit there. Right on that wall. <laughs> just like bank shot in this slur just let it bounce off the wall and let it fall straight down oh well what was that I was trying to get my line untangled and uh, are you serious another species we're gonna add a green sunfish to the list. Similar to warm mouth, but it's a little bit different. Do what? Right. Yeah, how you doing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying this uh, summer weather in November? Say what? Enjoying the summer weather in November? Oh yeah. <laughs> Every minute of you gotta get out and do something. Oh, there we go. What was that? Oh, yeah. Giant crappie. Yeah, if I can get on some white bass or yellow bass, that's those are fun. Yeah. On some light rods. Let me get here in the next few minutes. Catfish? Yeah. Really? I may have to save me a this little bluegill here and use it for bait. Little green sunfish. I love how fast it can change when you're bank fishing or just multi-species fishing. I went to one, one side 
didn't catch nothing. Two other guys showed up. There's, there's three guys fishing there. I moved down, caught one fish, went to the other side, and boom, I've caught like eight or nine fish. And the guy said that, he said a bunch of catfish have been biting as soon as it gets dark. I got this little bitty green sunfish. Gonna get a rod and, you know, this ain't part of the kit, but I caught this on the kit and we're gonna see if we can catch a catfish on it. Man, little bass are hitting hard. Alrighty. Got my rod out there with a piece of cut bait waiting on a catfish. Hey, there's a little, what is that? Kid is tiny white bass. Or is it a yellow bass? I think it's a little yellow bass. Goodness. Ooh, what is that? Working a little slower. And it's a good crappie. Getting dark, no bites on the catfish rod yet. Whoa, what is this? I just let my lure drop. Pull it back up and I got a good fish. Hey, that's a good crop here right there. Not a bad one. Another one. Oh man, they're getting more active. Oh, golden shiner. Another one. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go, that's a real one there. Now that is a nice one. It's getting kind of dark. I let that lure sink a little. Kind of wasn't paying attention. Ooh, that's an eater. Busy going back. What is this? Another green sunfish. And what is this? Can't really see, but it's a. Uh, I can't tell if it's a green sunfish or a warm mouth. I think it's a warm mouth. But it's uh, another fish. Well, unfortunately, no catfish were caught in the making of this video. <laughs> That's something I've been trying to catch. I haven't really gone really hard for them, but I've been doing some pan fishing where I'll throw out a catfish rod in areas where I think maybe a catfish will be and then I end up not getting them. Um, I don't really try hard. I would like to go catch catfish, but most of the time I'm just kind of fishing for whatever and if I catch a catfish it's like a bonus. This video turned out really fun especially the second night so the first day I spent like two hours out there kind of going through lures trying to catch on different things. The second night I show up at a spot with an hour to go and I'm like I'm just gonna take one light rod and um, I had the 132nd sound shake head and the little grub thing 
And I started actually with a different color, the um, the bluegrass color swim bait. And I didn't get any bites. I switched to the grub, which was like a Cajun cricket color. And boom, immediately started catching fish, moved to another spot. And it was like, I had one stretch there where I caught like seven fish and like 10 casts. We've had some really warm days in November, but the weather looks like it's finally changing. And it's just a couple days before Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving and just has a good time, be able to get with family or whatever you're able to do. Just being able to enjoy that. I, I have a big family, so I get to spend some time hanging out. And that's a kind of a, also a time where I'll probably just kind of check out from doing videos or keeping up with messages for a few days and just kind of, you know, sit around, maybe eat too much and do nothing, but get away from YouTube a little bit. But I appreciate all the support, appreciate all the views. And, uh, and of course, I'll leave uh, information, discount codes, links to all the Bank of Creek stuff if that's something you're interested in getting. If you're not, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyways, thanks for watching.